Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us stand and sing together. Jesus Christ is risen today. risen Lord Christ, welcome to Christ Lutheran Church, where our mission is to gather in worship, grow in God's word, and serve in Jesus' name. If you're a visitor today, we're so thankful you're here. We don't have a baptism today, but we have the thanksgiving over the water. Mila Jo is recently baptized, so she's our resident expert in it. And she knows that in some traditions, when there's a font of holy water and you come forward for communion, if you so desire, you can put your finger in it, right, and make the sign of the cross to remember. For you, it was only 2020, right? For some of us, we need a little bit more memory. In the waters of baptism, we have passed over from death to life with Jesus Christ, and we are a new creation, For this saving mystery and for this water, let us bless God who was, who is, and is to come. Make it splashy, Mom. We thank you, God, for your river of life flowing freely from your throne. Uh Uh-oh. Through the earth, through the city, through every living thing. You rescued Noah and his family from the flood. You opened wide the sea for the Israelites. 
Now in these waters you flood us with mercy, and our sin is drowned forever. You open the gate of righteousness, and we pass safely through. In Jesus Christ, you calm the troubled waters. You nourish us and enclose us in safety. You call us forth and send us out. In lush and barren places, you are with us. You have become our salvation. Now breathe upon this water and awaken your church once more. Claim us again as your beloved. (laughs) And holy people, quench our thirst, cleanse our hearts, wipe away every tear. To you, our beginning and our end, our shepherd and lamb, be honor, glory, and praise, and thanksgiving now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Mila. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. O God, you gave gave your your only Son Son to to suffer death death on the cross for our redemption. redemption. And And by by his his glorious resurrection, resurrection, you you delivered us us from the power of death. death. Make us die every day to sin, that we may live with him forever in the joy of the resurrection, through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated.
first reading is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verses 17 through 25. For I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The former things shall not be remembered or come to mind, but be glad and rejoice forever in what I am creating. For I am about to create Jerusalem as a joy and its people as a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and delight in my people. No more shall the sound of weeping be heard in it or the cry of distress. No more shall there be in it an infant that lives but a few days or an old person who does not live out a lifetime. For one who dies at a hundred years will be considered a youth and one who falls short of a hundred will be considered accursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For like the days of a tree shall the days of my people be, and my chosen shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain or bear children for calamity, for they shall be offspring blessed by the Lord and their descendants as well. Before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox. But the serpent, its food shall be dust. They shall not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, says the Lord. Here ends the first reading. The second reading is Acts chapter 10 verses 34 through 43. Then Peter began to speak to them. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Here ends the readings. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, Suddenly, two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you, while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words. And returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. 
But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the linen cloths by themselves. Then he went home, amazed at what had happened. The gospel of the Lord, we say. Praise Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. Please be seated. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. In about four minutes, I am going to invite my friends who like to sit on blankets and look at storybooks to come forward. They can bring with them anyone they like. And if you like stickers, this is your morning. Let me tell you. The point of this sermon is that everyone in this room possesses unlimited power, the power of love. If you are feeling sleepy or hungry, the thought of feeling powerful right now may not register with you. So let's just warm ourselves up to the power of power. Why is the ocean so powerful? Because it is filled with muscles. I know. What would you call another word for a power failure? A current event. A man with authority walks into a bar and orders everyone around. Now, the following is a true statement. This is not a joke. But I hope it makes you laugh while simultaneously appreciating the gravity of the situation. Urgently, breathlessly, my five-year-old son runs into the kitchen, looks up at me with complete confidence while he demands, hey mom, all I need now is a match. Hmm. Today, a new light shines. In Jesus who shines in us, we have become that vessel of his light, just like a Paschal candle. Jesus shines in us with the complete confidence of a five-year-old ready to start a fire. All that is needed for Jesus is not a match, it's just for God to raise him from the dead. Any power that you and I possess is bestowed upon us by God through the power of the Holy Spirit, exclusively for the purpose of love. All right, so we have to talk about this fire for one more minute, then it'll be story time. Our confirmation class designed and crafted this Paschal candle. It means that the 2021 candle was taken to the chapel on Good Friday, and it'll spend a year there. And now we have this new design with the hot rod Holy Spirit. That's my favorite feature. Just like the confirmation students designing the candle, you and I get to design and shine the power God gives us with every breath. Every breath is a new life, and your light shines with every breath you take everywhere you go. You don't even have to feel the power of God. God's power can do God's work in you whether you feel the power or not. Even in your weakest state, and in all honesty for me, when I am weakest, that is when God has done God's most remarkable work. So I have a story about how God fulfills God's plans and purposes in places where all plans and purposes appear to be lost. 
It is used by the permission of Lion Hudson Publications, and it's written by Angela Hunt. All right, so it's time to take out the blanket and invite my friends forward who want a closer look at the pictures. And maybe this row right here will be my helper at the end when it's time to pass out the stickers, okay? I mean, you're welcome to come up and sit on the blanket too, but I know there's someone here who really wants a closer look, right? You can bring the person that you want to cuddle with you, okay? And when you stand up, I I'd like to see who's the tallest in the room. Who's the tallest? Mm, okay, I see. All right. Oh, uh, who looks the strongest to me? Who's got the biggest muscles? David, I know you want a closer look, man. You could just sit in the front row, too. You don't have to sit on the blanket. All right, friends, here it is. Uh, who has the, anybody here have a treasure chest? Ladies, do you have a treasure chest? Okay, okay. Let's see what this story is about. It's called The Tale of the Three Trees. It's an old folk tale that Angela Hunt put into a book with an artist. All right, get up here, Mila Jo. Once upon a mountaintop, three trees stood and dreamed of what they wanted to become when they grew up. The first little tree looked up at the stars twinkling like diamonds above him. I want to hold treasure, he said. I want to be covered with gold and filled with precious stones. I will be the most beautiful treasure chest in the world. The second little tree looked out at the small stream trickling by on its way to the ocean. I want to be a strong sailing ship, he said. I want to travel mighty waters and carry powerful kings. I will be the strongest ship in the world. The third little tree looked down into the valley below where busy men and busy women worked in a busy town. I don't want to leave this mountaintop at all, she said. I want to grow so tall that when people stop to look at me, they will raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. I will be the tallest tree in the world. Years passed, the rains came, the sun shone, and the little trees grew tall. One day, three woodcutters climbed the mountain. The first woodcutter looked at the first tree and said, This tree is beautiful. It's perfect for me. With a swoop of his shining axe, the first tree fell. Now I shall be made into a beautiful chest, thought the first tree. I shall hold wonderful treasure. The second woodcutter looked at the second tree and said, This tree is strong. It is perfect for me. With a swoop of his shining axe, the second tree fell. Now I shall sail mighty waters through, thought the second tree. I shall be a strong ship fit for kings. The third tree felt her heart sink. When the last woodcutter looked her way, she stood straight and tall and pointed bravely to heaven. But the woodcutter never even looked up. Any kind of tree will do for me, he muttered. With a swoop of his shining axe, the third tree fell. The first tree rejoiced when the woodcutter brought him to a carpenter's shop, but the busy carpenter was not thinking about treasure chests. Instead, his work-worn hands fashioned the tree into a feed box for animals. The once beautiful tree was not covered with gold or filled with treasure, he was coated with sawdust and filled with hay for hungry farm animals. The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took him to a shipyard. But no mighty sailing ships were being made that day. Instead, 
the once strong tree was hammered and sawed into a simple fishing boat. Too small and too weak to sail an ocean or even a river, he was taken to a little lake. Every day he brought in loads of dead, smelly fish. The third tree was confused when the woodcutter cut her into strong beams and left her in a lumber yard. What happened, the once tall tree wondered. All I ever wanted was to stay on the mountaintop and point to God. Many, many days and nights passed. The three trees nearly forgot their dreams. But one night, golden starlight poured over the first tree as a young woman placed her newborn baby in the feed box. I wish I could make a cradle for him, her husband whispered. The mother squeezed his hand and smiled as the starlight shone on the smooth and sturdy wood. This manger is beautiful, she said. And suddenly, the first tree knew he was holding the greatest treasure in the world. One evening, a tired traveler and his friends crowded into the old fishing boat. The traveler fell asleep as the second tree quietly sailed out into the lake. Soon a thundering and thrashing storm arose. The little tree shuddered. He knew he did not have the strength to carry so many passengers safely through the wind and rain. The tired man awakened. He stood up, stretched out his hand, and said, Peace. The storm stopped as quickly as it had begun. And suddenly the second tree knew he was carrying the king of heaven and earth. One Friday morning, the third tree was startled when her beams were yanked from the forgotten woodpile. She flinched as she was carried through an angry, jeering crowd. She shuddered when a soldier nailed a man's hands to her. She felt ugly and harsh and cruel. But on Sunday morning, when the sun rose and the earth trembled with joy beneath her, the third tree knew that God's love had changed everything. It had made the first tree beautiful. It had made the second tree strong and every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. That was better than being the tallest tree in the world. Thank you for listening to my story. Every time I want to see what God looks like, I am going to look at you. It doesn't matter if you're the tallest or the strongest or if you have a treasure chest or not because God makes all humans in God's image so that we can see God whenever we want to. So um, Max and your sisters, would you come and help pass out these stickers to my friends who came to the blanket, please? And anybody else who wants a sticker, raise your hand and I bet Max will help you get one, okay? Every time you wonder, is there a way that I can feel closer to God? Look in the mirror. See the person there who God decided you're worth dying for. But even more, you are worth living for. You are worth giving my power through the Holy Spirit. I want to add this brief epilogue about my young son who had the match. That same year that a match was urgently needed for undisclosed reasons, we celebrated Easter with large 
baskets full of eggs with coins and of course chocolate right then softly spoken into my sleeping ear very early on Easter Monday morning were these words from my son mommy I accidentally slept with chocolate I need new pajamas and a bed sheet and I had to take a shower will you forgive me of course I forgive the chocolate and everything else and anything else we forgive because forgiveness is within the power God has bestowed upon us, the power of love. Amen. Let us stand and sing together, Thine is the glory. faith in God using the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe, believe in one God, God the, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
On the third day he arose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Renewing God, the good news of your resurrection changes the world and fills our hearts with prayer for you. God of presence and peace, strengthen your church around the globe to proclaim the message of your love coming to the world. Open our hearts to recognize your face in all people and in all of creation. Merciful God, receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. Sustaining God, your creation abounds with signs of new life in budding trees and newborn creatures. Provide fertile soil, ample sunlight, and nourishing rain for the growth of plants, and provide farmers with a plentiful harvest. Merciful God, receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. Remembering all leaders, we pray for peace and justice in all nations and for our armed forces and our enemies. Merciful God, receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. God of comfort and care, be present with those on our prayer list and those celebrating a birthday or anniversary, especially Darius and Kathy Ramos on their 50th wedding anniversary. Merciful God, receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for wisdom, peace, and justice to prevail in the Ukraine. Merciful God, receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, may they rest in peace and rise in glory. Merciful God, receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. Accept the prayers we bring, O God, on behalf of a world in need, for the sake of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Please be seated while our ushers pass the alms basins. If you would like to bring your gift to Christ's well, please do so now. Living God, you gather the wolf and the lamb to feed together in your peaceable kingdom, and you welcome us all at your table. Reach out to us through this meal and show us your wonderful risen body, that we may be nourished and believe in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant 
in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. With this bread and cup, we remember our Lord's Passover from death to life as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Our Father, who Who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and and forgive forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and and ever. Amen. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God, take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. All are welcome to receive at the Lord's table. You put...
We give you thanks, generous God, for in this bread and cup we have tasted the new heaven and earth, where hunger and thirst are no more. Send us from this table as witnesses to the resurrection that through our lives all may may know know life life in Christ. Amen. God, the author of life, Christ, the living cornerstone, and the life-giving spirit of adoption, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia! Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia! Go in peace. Tell what God has done. Thanks be to God.